All right. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, today, we're going to give an introduction to the school dashboard. Uh, we're going to show you how to add teachers to your dashboard, how to assign memberships and points to those teachers, how you can do utilization and manage your teacher's accounts. And we're also going to introduce a new feature called the school store, as well as show you how you can make additional orders um, and renew your accounts when that time comes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to sign into our accounts. You should have received an email um, with a username and another email with a temporary password. Um, if for some reason you haven't received those emails, please contact help at boomlearning.com and someone will get back to you quickly and help you get logged into your account. Um, to sign into the school dashboard, we're just going to choose sign in at the home page here. Then we're going to choose I'm a school and sign in with email slash username. And you're going to enter in that, um, that email or that username and that temporary password into the box here and just hit sign in. Oh, I have logged into the teacher account. Bear with me one moment. Let's try that again. This one, Boom Demo School is my username and then the password there. All right, so this is your school dashboard. This is the interface that you're gonna use in order to manage all of your teacher accounts. Um, if you want to be able to log in with an email instead of your username and you want a way to reset your password, we highly recommend entering in your email here into this box. I'm going to go through each of the tabs at the top here, school information, teachers, students, subscription, and points, and then we're going to come back um, to a couple of places to just give you a little more detail. Um, the school information page is really just what it sounds like. This is where all the basic information for your school is. Any field that does have that little pencil icon, you can edit. Um, the most important information aside from your um, email and username here is actually going to be this school private data box. In here, it will tell you how many points you have that are not currently assigned to teachers, how many memberships you have available, that's this boom plus seats, and what your current expiration date is. And down here, you can also add additional emails for other contacts. So the accounts payable email is where we send invoices, and the school manager email is great if you wanna authorize a second individual or a secondary contact for your account. Over here on the teachers tab, this is where the magic happens. This is where you're going to be able to add teachers, assign points, assign memberships, and get your teachers the tools that they need to get started from with Boom. Um, there's a lot of information here, but we're just going to go over um, the basics. So you can see on this little blue chart here, we've got the email for the teacher. Um, there's a nickname, which um, you can set or the teacher can set, and there's a username here. Um, the username can be used to log in as the teacher, as well as the email. Uh, user ID, you can think of kind of like an account number. It's a unique identifier for that teacher account. Um, you can also see their last login, how many decks they've purchased, and their current expiration date. Um, and then over here on the other side where it says points, you can see how many points they currently have in their account. Most of you probably won't have anything in this chart yet since you have brand new accounts. Um, so let me show you how you're gonna add teachers. Um, there's two possible scenarios here. The first one is that you're adding a brand new teacher who has never had a Boom account before with the email that you're using or you could be inviting a teacher who already has a Boom account to join your school. And they look slightly different. So I'm gonna show you how that works. You can hit, in order to add new teachers, you're just gonna hit this uh, plus new teachers button and you'll see this little pop-up show up. Uh, you can copy and paste a list of emails in here if you wanna add all of your teachers at once. Um, 
as long as you put them on separate lines or separate them by commas. Uh, I'm only going to add two today. I'm going to add this teacher, which has a Boom account, I know, and then I'm going to add another teacher who doesn't have a Boom account. And once I've entered in the teachers that I want to invite, I'm just going to hit import teachers. And you'll see here on the summary page, they look different depending on the scenario. So since this email already has an account associated with it, it shows that it was invited. Since this account was brand new, never existed before it was created. You'll also see that demo teacher 95, who we just created, shows up immediately in this chart. Whereas the other email that I invited doesn't. Um, you'll see they're up here um, and it'll say waiting for replies from, and these are teachers you've invited but haven't accepted the invitation yet. Um, the invitation is sort of two parts. So they will get an email notification letting them know that an invitation has been sent and kind of outlining the terms. And then the next time they log into their Boom account, they will also see a pop-up notification prompting them to accept or reject the invite. Um, so if your teacher, um, if you know you've invited your teacher and they say they still don't see anything, make sure that they've accepted the invite and that they're showing on this chart here. I'm gonna show you next how to assign memberships. Um, it's really simple. Once the teachers have accepted your invitation or been created, you can use this assign button in order to assign a membership. You can see your balance here, as well as on the school information page, we have nine seats remaining. And if I assign that one seat to this new teacher, you can see it's now changed to show that I have eight seats remaining. Once my other two teachers accept, I will be able to actually assign memberships to them as well. Even if they do have an existing membership, you should be able to override it in most cases. If you do encounter an error, please reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to add points to an account. Um, so points, of course, are used to purchase content in the store. Once we process your order, they're added to your account in one lump sum, and then you get to decide how to distribute them. So in this case, this account has 9,700 points, and I would like to give my new teacher 3,000 points to play with. And you can see I just clicked this Add Remove Points button. I entered the amount I wanted in the box here um, and hit OK, and it added those points to the account. Now, if I made a mistake, for instance, and I really only wanted to give this teacher 2,000 points, I can actually use this same button to remove points as well. So if I just put a negative um, and then enter in the amount, so I just put a minus sign and then 1,000, so I can put a negative 1,000 points, it'll actually remove those points from the teacher's account and add them back to my balance. All right, so this teacher is now all set up and ready to go. Um, they will have gotten an email giving them instructions on how to claim their account, their membership is set up, and their points are set up. So this teacher will be able to get access to um, all of the great tools we have. I'm going to take you back to the next tab is for students. So this will show you all of the students that have been created or imported by teachers on your account. Similar to the chart on the teachers tab, you'll see um, the student nickname and email as well as their username. Um, and they also have a student ID, um, which is just, it's very similar to a user ID. It's a unique identifier for their account. Um, you'll also notice that it lists the teacher ID. So this is very, very helpful when you're trying to figure out which student belongs to which teacher. So for instance, um, we can see this uh, this teacher here, we can actually copy this ID, has this student Aria. Let's see who imported this teacher. We can use the search bar here 
and we can search that user ID and it shows me that this teacher is the teacher that imported this first student here because the user IDs match. So that's just a little handy thing you can do. You can also view the last time that the student actually logged into the account. Um, keep in mind though, there are ways to assign boom cards that don't require students to log in. So if you don't see a login history here, you might wanna inquire with your teachers into how they're using boom because they may be using them in small group activities or assigning them as practice activities um, without grading. So uh, if you're concerned about usage for students, um, you might want to check in with the individual teacher. Over here, we have the subscription tab. Um, this is very simple. Again, it's just going to summarize um, your points balance, your expiration dates, how many seats you have. It's also going to show you how many students you have and your current student limit. Um, down below here, Below this uh, line here, under the request new estimate button, it will also show you any previous purchases you've made via our estimate builder. Um, here's where you'll be able to actually request additional quotes. So if you run out of points or you need to add additional students or teachers, you can do so by logging into your account and just hitting this request new estimate button. That will take you into the estimate builder and walk you through the process of getting that taken care of. Uh, the last tab we're going to take a look at is points. So points shows us a record of every point that was um, added or distributed to a teacher. So if we look here, we can see the two transactions that we just completed. So we can see that for demo teacher 95, I originally gave them 3000 points. Now it shows as a negative balance um, because it's coming out of the balance of the school. So you can think of it kind of like a bank account. If you send somebody $20, it's gonna show as a negative $20 on your account. This works the same way. So this means that I added 3000 points to that teacher account. And then you see a positive transaction here when I removed the extra thousand points from that teacher account. I do wanna hop back to the teachers tab real quick and talk a little bit about usage. So just like on the students tab, the teachers tab, you can also view usage. Um, you can see when their last login was. If this column under last login is blank, um, that means that they haven't yet logged in. So you might wanna um, touch base with them. There's also a couple of other admin functions on this page that I wanted to show you. Um, the first thing is, is this yellow key button. This yellow key will let you send a password reset to any teacher on your account, um, which is very helpful if you need to get a teacher access right away. The other button, and we'll click on it here, will give you two options. So we have reassign and we have edit. And they're very similar, um, but they do slightly different things. So edit just lets you change some of the existing information on a teacher account. You hit the edit button, it'll show you that you can enter in a username for that teacher, you can change or overwrite the email, and you can add a nickname to that teacher. So for instance, um, if I realize that the user I meant to invite was actually under demo teacher 96, here's where I could change that without affecting any of the rest of the account. Um, I should note also that you do need to enter in a username in order to save your changes. So let's take that example. So I'm just going to edit this email to be demo teacher 96 instead of demo teacher 95. And I'm going to change the username to be also demo teacher 96. And then I'm going to hit save. And we can see that that change is immediately reflected here on the teacher's chart. Now, what about reassign? So sometimes if a teacher um, leaves or is having a long-term substitute, they may wanna completely reassign that account to the teacher who's gonna be taking over. 
What reassign does is it takes any existing personal information off of the account, such as the teacher name, teacher address, or any other information that they've chosen to provide in their settings, and it removes that and resets it as though it's a brand new teacher account. However, it does allow you to keep any classroom information. So that means your student data stays with the account. You also keep any library information. So any decks that have been purchased by that teacher stay on the account and any studio information. So any decks that have been created by that teacher also are unaffected. Um, but otherwise, it removes all personal identifiable information from the account and allows the new teacher to enter that, their own information. Um, so the reassign button is a really good way to hand off an account from one teacher to another. And um, if you do need to remove a account from your dashboard completely, um, you will need to contact uh, Boom to do that for you, but we're always happy to help. That about covers all of the admin functions. Now I get to show you the really exciting new feature we have. So down here on your school information tab at the bottom, you might notice that we have a new box called School Store. Um, so School Store is currently a feature we're testing. And what it allows teachers to do is when they create content, they can choose to publish that content to the school store. So teachers that you invite to your account can create content and share it with other teachers on the account very, very easily. Um, this is going to be a paid feature, but we're currently testing it and getting feedback. In order to enable it, you can just turn it on here. Um, and that will allow your teachers to publish to your school store. And it will also allow teachers to search your school store for content. All right, that's about it for today's webinar. Thank you so much. Uh, normally we would do a Q&A, but it looks like um, we're gonna go ahead and just end it here. Um, again, we're gonna also post some links in the chat here where you can get some more information. And if you have any further questions, you can always reach us at help at boomlearning.com. If you need to make additional purchases, you can also contact sales at boomlearning.com or reach us through this little help button here at the bottom, which will take you to your FAQ or help you submit a ticket if you need to. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.